What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com Don't forget to stop by Studio1Tutorials and get yourself your premium membership. It is 50 cents a day. Um, yeah, if you got Studio1 and you want to learn Studio1. Anyhow, um, what I'm doing right now is I'm doing the easy way to program 808s inside Live. And one of the things that I've come across with using Live and you know the overall live community is that um, live is such a powerful tool and there's so many different ways to do things and and, and they're really exciting um, that sometimes we kind of like forget about like how simple things could be in a DAW you know we want to simplify things um, or at least I do um, so yeah the what I have going on if you guys haven't checked out my template tutorial and you're kind of lost at how my screen looks go ahead and check out my template tutorial it'll help you out especially if you're coming over from all other, other DAWs and want to get into a linear flow but what I have here is I have um, is I have um, my kick my snare uh, my closed hi-hat and my open hi-hat all set to their own um, simpler channels and um, yeah I know you get a drum rack and put them all together but this is just easier for me um, and because I like to have one fader one track one fader one track it's really easy um, the next thing that I have is uh, you know I got this drum loop going <laughs> All right, it's cool. Now I've, I've programmed kind of like a bridge bass. So I know for my bridge, I want to use that, but for, um, but I know for, you know, for, for the regular verse sections, I want to alternate between, between having an 808 and having, and having that saw bass. Now the, the easiest way to start programming your 808 is to lay it on top of the kicks, right? Um, well, instead of like messing around in step sequencer and trying to figure it out or nothing, doing nothing like that, I'm gonna hold down control and I'm going to take this clip and just copy it over here now I've already went through the trouble of um, tuning this 808 um, what I did was I'll just I'll just show you from from jump it's really easy um, is I have is I have my sample loaded up I have a um, I have a tuner after this and when I when I play the sample shoot I've actually I've actually got a scale initiated right here let me just um all right so so playing so playing the C key this is showing me that this is an E right and then you see right here it's negative 16 17 cents um, detuned so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to offset that detune first of all um, so I can get an accurate pitch center and that's just gonna help out a little bit in the mix and everything then I'm gonna transpose this down four semitones and that should give me C boom so now when I play C I get C now I could go back into my scale with this which is the scale of the track C sharp minor playing C sharp Every note on the scale of the push is laid out very nice. So I've got that set up. Boom. Now I can go into this clip and you see I've got I've got my Edo, I've got my kick pattern set up. I'm gonna highlight all these and I'm going to press legato. That is going to get my full release of the 808 out, right? So now I just have to set this to the root note of my track, which is C sharp, and press play. So cool. Now I could just start programming this in real easy. Like, uh, let's see, two, three, four, five. All right. Now I'm gonna start programming a little bit of a little bit of slide action.
cool. So you go ahead and, you know, uh, program your glides in however you choose. All I'm doing in order to make that happen is I've got um, is I've got the control set up. I make sure I've set glide to glide, I'm setting my time at 250 milliseconds. That's working for the tempo right now. Um, and then, you know, in order in order to program them, you just you're just laying them on top or, uh, you know, in different octaves. Um, over your actual melody. So yeah, this is a, this is a really quick, simple way to go ahead and program glides. Um, just get an 808 pattern going, get it up and running, and then move on to the next thing. This is CMP with Craftmaster Productions, Studio12Tutorials.com, and this is my adventures in Ableton. Keep it simple, don't be basic, and we'll see you on the next one.